Hey there, in this video we are going to talk about Laravel models and a model is a way of interacting with your database. So let's say that we have a customer's table, we could easily interact with our customer's table using models from Laravel. So I'm going to go ahead and open up SQL Pro and I'm going to create a new customer's table. So click create customers and this is going to be a simple table, it's going to have an ID and a name. And normally with Laravel you would use what's called migrations and that's a way of building your tables and your data using using code and using migrations. But for simplicity's sake we're just going to create our customers table here. And I'm going to create two customers with a name of Tony and the next customer will have a name of Bob. So let's go ahead and go back into our application code. And one thing that I will want to do is add my database credentials. So if I open up the .env, in here I will need to put my database name and my username and password. And I'm just on a local host here, so it's just app root root. And I will save that. And then I will want to go into my app folder and create a new file. And I'm going to create this file called customer.php. And this will have a namespace of app since we are in the app folder. And I'll create a new class called customer, which extends model. And our app isn't going to know which model class to extend from, so we need to tell it which model class to look for. So if I look in the example user.php file, you can see here that it has use illuminate database eloquent model, and that's what we want for our model as well. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And right here we have already built the interaction between our database and our in our code so we can interact with our customer table just within this few lines of code which is why the Laravel eloquent models are so amazing so let's go ahead and play around with the this customer model right now so I'm going to create a new route and just call this customer and I'm going to get the customer with an ID of one so I'll say app customer find with an ID of one and notice that we have to say app slash customer because the customer model is inside of the app namespace so right now I can print out the customer object so let's save that and go back to our app and see what we get okay so we have our customer object you can see that we have name Tony and it has ID of one so let's say that we wanted to print out hello my name is and then the customers name we simply say echo hello my name is and we could say customer name so let me save that and reload the page and you can see now that it says hello my name is Tony which is amazing so let's go ahead and add a route parameter so let's say that we wanted to go to our app URL slash customer slash ID we could simply add our route parameter here and say we want to find the customer with this ID. So let's go ahead and go to our localhost 8000 slash customer slash one and sure enough that prints out Tony let's go to customer slash two and the customer with the ID of two has a name of Bob so you can see that it gets displayed accordingly. So let's say that we want to maybe we know the name of our customer and I will just create a new route real quick and let's say that we know that our customer's name is Tony and it's probably not a good you know there could be multiple names of Tony so this probably isn't a good example but I'm just gonna show you how you can fetch data where a user has a name of Tony so we could say customer equals app slash customer and we could say where name equals Tony and I'm just going to get the first occurrence of this because there could be multiple customers that have a name of Tony. But you can see this where class we can use from the eloquent model, which allows us to interact with our database. And we can use where, we can use uh, and where. So we could keep on adding these, like where name equals Tony, where ID equals this, or where email equals this. So it's just a way of uh, getting the correct data that we want from our database. So I will just echo the customer name. So let me go to my app slash get underscore customer. And sure enough, it will get my name, Tony. You can see that if we change this to ID, it's going to say that our ID is one. So we just found where the 
customer name is Tony, and then we printed out the ID right here. So I hope you can see the power of the Eloquent model that Laravel provides us with. Um, it's just so easy and so fun now to interact with the data in our database. And we will see you in the next video where we will talk about database uh, relationships and Eloquent relationships.